gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble!
Um, the best se the thing about the season would have to be um, we were not supposed to be as good as we were uh, supposed to be. Um, a lot of people said that we got rid of our two all-stars and we weren't going to be as good as everyone thought we were in the past. And we just wanted to come out and show everyone that we were better than what everyone um, expected us to be. So um, that would have to be the best thing, um, us proving everyone wrong, proving that we can do the work and we can go farther than other teams without the two all-stars. Pretty much the fact that we were like the underdogs coming from everyone didn't think we were going to be all that great and stuff. So, and then we were, we ended up with a pretty good record, so we proved them all wrong. Probably just like getting to know my teammates a lot, of, a lot better. I've made a lot of new friends and like all the fun we've had, like off the court at parties or painting the building and then on the floor like winning, it's a lot of fun. Well, I made a lot of new friends. I really liked all the girls on the team. And I think just being a part of the team since we were so success successful, you know, so I just liked hanging out with the team and just being a part of it. Winning the Suburban League and like being able to play with my sister this year and making it to districts. And we also had like a lot of fun down in Columbus when we went down there and won. And having like everyone be our friends, you know, like our whole team just like getting along really well and just having like really great coaches. Best thing about the season is basically just like all the friendships I made with the girls on the team. Like they're all like wonderful people and I was kind of friends with most of them before but since the season like we all became really really close and we had so much fun together and also just the relationships with my coaches because they're all wonderful people and it was so great to get to spend one last season with them. It was really really memorable. Just like all of us are really we all became really good friends so it was really fun to get to know each other and stuff. <laughs> I think just how we were, um, how like everybody sort of doubted like how far we could go with the team that we had. So, and then just how we proved them wrong and were successful throughout the season. The fact that we were so successful and many people doubted us this year, um, I think that we all pulled together and worked really hard this season and we showed that we weren't just going to um, not play well just because we had lost a few players. I think like the best thing was like we were all like really good friends and like this team is like this is the most fun like most fun team I've ever been on so. Um, pretty much our team dinners and how like everyone got along and when we went and painted the box Unforgettable That's what you are Unforgettable Though near or far Like a song of love That clings to me how the thought of you does things to me Never before Has someone been born Courtney McGill, uh, Coach Osborne, told her to sit down and play defense and she literally sat down on the court and played defense. The funniest thing. Um, the funniest thing would have to be we went down um, to Pinkerington for a tournament and we were at this restaurant and it was like there was a restaurant and then there was like a bar type thing so we went into the bar <laughs> which is which sounds bad but it's not as bad as it sounds and we went in there and um, we were messing around and the um, waitress came around to take our order and um, she was right behind Kara Busen and all of a sudden Kara turns around and burps <laughs> and it was the funniest thing and that wasn't the funniest part was I was taking a sip of my pop at the time and all of a sudden it comes out of my mouth and my nose and it was so embarrassing and it went all over the table and it was just so embarrassing. 
That was the most funniest thing, I would have to say, because we laughed forever about that. I think um, we went down to Pickerington for a tournament, and we, put, we pulled into like the mother of all hotels. I mean, it was a dump. Like, we saw bathtubs like out on roofs and stuff, and it was hilarious. And we were all like, you can't make us stay here. Like, it was terrible. We were about to sleep in the cars. Oh. Um, before the Copley game, um, we were like getting all ready for it. And on the board, there was, if anyone's wearing a Copley shirt, rip it off. And no one knew what that meant. And we're all like stretching in the huddle. And Mr. Seaver walks on the floor and he says, Wadsworth sucks, Copley's gonna win number one and all this stuff about how good Copley is. So me and Tracy like jump up, run up and rip his like shirt to shreds. It was so funny. And we were just like chasing him all over the gym and then like the whole team was, it was awesome. And then like down in Columbus, like Tracy like spit her drink out like everywhere. It was kind of funny. <laughs> Either when we were down in Pickerington when Tracy spit pop out of her nose or when Courtney McGill sat down on the court when coach told her to sit down and play. The Pickerington trip was probably the best part, the funniest part, when Tracy ended up spitting pop out of her nose and I don't know, it was just wild, it was funny. Okay, I'm sure like everybody said this, but when we went to the restaurant in Pickerington and we were all having a good time and everything, and Tracy was drinking her pop and Kara burped in front of the waitress and pop came out, came out of her nose. It was really funny. <laughs> Basically, Tracy and Ashley <laughs> at LA, there's a monkey in the locker room and Ashley called it the crazy monkey. And then at Pickerington, when we went and played Cincinnati Princeton, um, we were at the restaurant and Tracy was laughing so hard that stuff was coming out of her nose and it was really, really funny. <laughs> everything is memorable, I would have to say. Um, everything we do as a team, it will always have a memory in my heart. Um, just all the fun times we had together, all the things that we have done, the hotel we got stuck in at Pinkerington, just all the little things that we've done together and will always have a place in my heart. Um, when we beat Cincinnati, Princeton, and Hudson, those are both really, really big games, and we weren't predicted to win, so it was really exciting, and I'll always remember the seniors and how good of leadership they showed. Probably just all my teammates, like, it won't be the same next year without any of the seniors. It's going to be a lot different, and just all the fun that we had winning. Going down to Pickerington was a lot of fun. We had a lot of downtime like where we could all just like hang out and watch TV and stuff like that. And um, definitely when we beat Hudson the first time, when there was a lot of like talking going on about who would win the game and we came out on top, so that was fun. Um, beating Cincinnati Princeton, like after our loss to Copley, I thought that really like boosted up our confidence, you know? And um, I'll just remember all the new friends I made too. Winning the Suburban League, making it to districts, uh, all the wind sprints we did for our punishment, running at halftime of the Stowe game, just like fun things like that. We won some pretty good games and that was memorable just because it's always exciting when you win a big game, when you're out to accomplish a goal. So when we won the Suburban League title against Copley at their place, that was pretty memorable. And we also had a really big win over Cincinnati Princeton down in Pickerington. And we also had a big win over Hudson at home. So those things were all really memorable. And like I said before, just all the fun times that we spent together and all the friendships we made. Just being able to play with a bunch of really like talented people that are my friends, you know, being friends with all them. Just the fun times we've all had. So. Just um, being together as a team and being successful and like, um, like how we prepared as a team, like we would do our cheers before our games and stuff and just going out and playing basketball with my friends and being able to be successful in doing it. I remember how hard we worked and I mean all the great times and even the bad times but and just how much fun we had together and I saw our parties and painting the building and I don't know, doing things that people didn't think we were capable of. Oh, that's what I'll remember. Our like practices, I remember most of them because most of them was like 
we had to do something, run or something. I remember the practice when we were doing so bad, coach made us get on the line and we ran for like 15 minutes and he literally just sat there and read a book like the whole time. And so we were like, oh, we're not going to stop running. <laughs> that me and Grubber had like, and what they were about, that's like what I'm going to remember the most. We learned the bad ones. Some were good and some were bad. <laughs> Uh, good luck, girls. Well, I know they're all, they'll all be so successful in college. They're all, like, my really good friends. So just good luck to them. I know they'll be successful. Uh, I just, like, wish them good luck in what they're doing and hope they be successful. Um, we just want to thank Coach Oz for that one practice where he had to run a lot of sprints with the ball above our head. Yeah, kept me in shape for track. Thanks, Coach. <laughs>